What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Escaping Comfort Zone. So today I'm doing something a little bit different um, to my travel side of things. So I don't know if you saw my previous video, but a couple days ago I was venturing around some of the south beaches. And some of the beaches are really nice, but on the other hand, pretty much every beach had a lot of rubbish on it. And like there was one particular beach, it was just disgusting seeing how much rubbish they had there. Um, it was just completely full, like as far as you can see for miles, it was just rubbish on rubbish. Um, and I've been thinking about doing it for a while, but I feel, I've always felt so lucky to travel this much. Um, and I really want to take part and sort of contribute, helping out cleaning countries around the world that I go to. Like, we live in a beautiful, beautiful place, but it's sad to go to these amazing countries and seeing how much rubbish there is. So that's why I'm here today. I'm at Mang Mangu Beach, I think it's called that, yeah. So I'm at Mangu Beach and there is actually a volunteer group. So they're called Trash Heroes. Uh, they're, they're actually, there's a several Trash Heroes throughout Bali, um, but Trash Heroes is a big non-profit organization and they started, it was started by a Swiss man and his friends in 2013 in Thailand and it literally just took off from there. So so people have, I think it was, there's 21 groups set up through eight nations around the world. Um, that's from what I've last heard. But literally in Bali here, every Sunday they have a clean up and like people can just come and help out if they feel like, volunteer. So I found about it, um, found out about it online on Facebook. But as I said, there's so this one's in Changu and there's other ones through like Ubud and Ahmed. But yeah, that's what I want to do today, guys. I really want to help out, clean up the beach, spend an hour of my time just to make our beaches or our planet just that little bit cleaner. So let's do this. been cleaning out the beach for 30 minutes now and pretty much my recycle bag is full so the yellow one is for recyclables and the other one is just for general waste but as I said 30 minutes of cleaning up the beach and I've got almost a full bag and with general waste as well but the other guy was saying that this is actually fairly clean to what it used to be like well, compared to other days 
and compared to the other beaches I have been to here yeah, this does seem a lot cleaner but even with little bits of rubbish like this like it still does add up and whoops and with a whole hour of cleaning up from all the people that are here just helping out today will make a difference it will, it will keep like this section of the beach fairly clean or cleaner than it was before and it's really good too because the other people that all the locals that see you cleaning up the rubbish like if they see you helping out cleaning up the rubbish trying to make a difference then that might change their view and if that sort of gets them to change their minds look at look at things a different way to just not litter or help out here and there then we're all making a difference one thing that i really love is the trash heroes motto is we clean we educate we learn so not only do they help out cleaning every weekend and get a group of people to do the same but they also educate us and educate like schools and that to to do the same so they actually get like groups of kids together every now and then i've just seen videos of it um, but they show the kids like what, uh, what's recyclable and what's general waste but it, i feel like that's the best thing to always start them off young like to teach them young that it is not the right thing to do to litter and to how to properly dispose of your rubbish but we're also like just doing this as i said before we're also educating everyone around us that sees us doing this because it's putting just a little impact on them to maybe just maybe change their thought and do the same somewhere down the track so this is I like the Changu cleanup um, on Facebook. It says this is cleanup number 101. So I don't know exactly how long they've been running for, but this is cleanup 101, which is pretty impressive. And all the other areas like Ahmed's or Bali, I mean, in Ubud, um, they've done a fair few more cleanups. But with Changu alone, with 101 cleanups, they have cleaned up, I think it was like 8,300 kilograms. Um, yeah, around that and they've had like almost 3,000 volunteers within that time 3,000 heroes 3,000 trash heroes and like 350 uh, Kid trash heroes. So it's really It's really good and expiring like to see that many people actually care and help out And pretty much majority of the trash I pick up around here too. It's just all plastics like this um, So it's usually your plastics bottles and cigarette butts cigarette butts seem to be a pretty bad one around here cigarette butts and cigarette packets like i remember when i went to um went to europe and that was probably the worst cigarette butt littering i've ever seen in my life like just the streets of europe is freaking disgusting with how much cigarettes they have like just the whole streets are full of cigarette butts and I forgot the statistics, but I remember reading something. It says they collect like, I don't know, like certain regions around Europe produce like thousands, hundreds of thousands of tons each year of just cigarette butts, which is insane to think of because they're only that big. They're so tiny. And it was really interesting too when I went to Galapagos Islands a couple of years ago. I met this one guy and he, um, he actually collected cigarette butts um, well cleaned up cigarette butts that he found on the streets around Galapagos but it was really really cool because he actually made art out of it so he made like these big 3d art sculptures out of cigarette butts so even trash alone guys can be turned into a beautiful thing like that and also I'll, I'll give a shout out to my mum because my mum made the most amazing trash art sculpture as well so she collected, I think it was 7,000 and something um, bottle cap lids from, from a school. I forgot how long, uh, over like a few months or I don't know, like a year period or something. And she built a whale, so a 3D whale out of all these bottle caps. I'll, I'll put a photo right here, but this is it here. Such an amazing structure. Like I was so impressed how that turned out but as you can see from that amazing sculpture like rubbish can sort of be so much more 
I've, I've seen online, um, got where it was, it's in around some Asian countries, but people have actually built houses out of rubbish, like out of uh, recyclable plastic bottles. And I think they fill the bottles up with sand and they use that as like the, um, um, and they use that as like the structure of the house. So they just stack them up and sort of build from there. So I know this is only a short video today guys, but I just really wanted to show you like that there's good out there, that there's people actually going out of their way to help clean up these dirty, filthy beaches and just help clean up our country. So Trash Hero, as I said before, um, there is a lot throughout Bali and if you're ever thinking about wanting to do it as well, just check out their Trash Hero Facebook groups, um, but I'll leave links in the description as well. So wherever you are throughout Bali, you can do like the Trash Hero Changu, Trash Hero Ubud, or you can do all of them, whatever you feel like. Um, and even throughout other places around Asia, um, not 100% sure, but they may be in other countries, continents as well. But yeah, I helped out today, guys. It didn't take much, literally an hour of my time to get a couple kilos of rubbish. It really, really didn't affect my life. Like it was super, super easy to do and I'm sure you guys can do it as well. So I just want to try to inspire people to help clean out here and there. It doesn't have to be major, it doesn't have to be huge. Just try to contribute a little bit more and just don't litter guys, just don't litter. If you see some rubbish on the side of the road, pick it up, put it in the bin, recycle properly. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways and as I said before, be sure to check out Trash Hero because they're a great organisation, they're a great group. I love what they're doing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, skate your comfort zone, and let's keep this planet clean.